it was hot today. It got up to like 58 degrees Fahrenheit. It's Saturday, 16 March, 2024. It's still technically winter. First day of spring is still a few days away for this year, uh, 2024. So I'm filming this Saturday, 16 March, 2024. I'm Tana Sianardi. She, her, hers of Seattle. This is my YouTube channel, Tana Sianardi. This is my movie notes on 007, Die Another Day, 2002 film. 16 March, 2024 viewing. So I just finished watching it. I'm on a roll. I already finished all six movies on my movie watch list from earlier in the week. And I'm on to this one. I'm thinking maybe I'll do another video tomorrow. Movie notes. We'll see. Uh, got a big box from my aunt Danette. Um, But this is actually, she had in her collection disc two of Die Another Day. But we, as in my family and I, my parents and I, um, have uh, Die Another Day ourselves. And so disc one. And this is says copyright 2003. We actually got this. So this disc is over 20 years old. Okay. So that's pretty good. And we can still watch it. And so this is um, my movie notes for my Saturday, 16 March, 2024 viewing of the 2002 film 007 Die Another Day. I am including 007 in the title. Just because it does in the packaging and the marketing and if the and like sometimes um 007 movies are actually ordered alphabetically by 007 and then the like number and the name so for this my marketing here i'm trying to keep it consistent with that i guess so it's a, a fiction film about british 007 agent james bond as he takes on North Korean military slash weapons suppliers in North Korea, Cuba, and Iceland. So, um, I guess I've done a little bit of the manufacturing and marketing notes. This is my favorite John James Bond movie and was when I first saw it. It was like an instant hit. Well, not like it was an instant hit for me, Tansley and Nerdy. And uh, the bad guy gustav graves so if you're confused in watching it right, he's north korean and undergoes gene therapy to look like a red russian okay the the character it is actually inspired by my andre who was what in the russian military before becoming a swimmer all right good night i love you sweet dreamy is still not the best inspiration for the Gustav Graves character. I don't know if he actually consulted on the movie. I do know he, back then, I saw the, so there was a North Korean bad guy with diamonds in his face who was chasing after James Bond and, or ahead slash after and I had a car chase in scene and they had this, the most beautiful car. It was a green Jaguar with little missiles that came out. You know, it's a James Bond movie. And the little missiles were really amazing yellow and I remember like I that's my favorite color combo that group that jaguar car green and those missile yellow and Andre stole my tastes he's like I control her and her tastes and so that's what you like honey and so it's like yeah though I say like green and black or I have said green and black even though it's green and yellow because it's like a very specific shade of green and yellow because like green and black is more like depending on the shade of green it can I can like and, and like actually making things it can make it work for his like with green and yellow a lot of things struggle with yellow so like my favorite color combo is green and yellow but like very particular green and yellow so that's why I don't necessarily say it a bunch um and so it was Andre's influence and yes he's he's my he's nicknamed the red russian uh, I'll leave that to your imagination. Leon is the red Frenchman and Hubert Coase is the red Hungarian. I'll leave that to your imagination. They're men. I'm she, her, hers. That's all I'm going to leave say about that one. And um, why is this my favorite James Bond movie? It stays true and it's kind of the last. I, in, it, I thought so. Not I, I, 
it's a captivating movie. I can watch it all the way through and um, that's saying something for cinema these days. I find it intriguing and going back now how much more I enjoy viewing this than the James Bonds that have come films that have come out after this. Yes, I think I was actually a little bit stunned today. Um, in terms of and like thinking through, so like I was raised on James Bond and like Sean Connery James Bond and some of the other early James Bond guys. Um, and so there's a little bit of with the new urge so like as in after 2002 james bond movies to i'm filming this saturday 16 march 2024 uh they lose the style of the original james bond and this movie does a really spectacular job and i can say that now where i couldn't necessarily say it in 2002 because technology hadn't continued to progress kind of thing right it actually does better than any of the more recent james bonds in terms of like capturing technological progress without losing the essence of the original James Bond. That's something that the new James Bond movies completely lose. Absolute rabbit hole. <gasps> no! It's a, it's a 21 year old disc! <laughs> okay, the, abs the new James Bond movies completely lose it. Right? They just lose the magic, lose the original feel of James Bond and the original style and stuff completely. Um, like, like, as in like the cinematography and that kind of style. Um, Right, so it was just it was just kind of an interesting thing because I was like, "Dang, they lost the magic!" Is in like the actual like the movies, not not necessarily the actors, right? The actresses have kind of declined as well. But like, um, I and mean, I don't necessarily I don't like the new James Bond, you know, kind of thing. I'm gonna just skip it. Um, though I will say one thing that has remained the same is, at least with this one, um. The g actor who plays Gustav Graves is the most handsome man in any James Bond movie, as like James Bond or the villain. Uh, and that is actually something that has continued into the newer, so as of after this and before fil filming this video, um, James Bond movies is the villains tend to be more attractive and handsome men than James Bond himself. And I'm just like, I don't know if they intended to do that, but like... This was kind of a pivotal movie in that sense of like, I am completely not, <laughs> I actually like James Bond in this one, but like, as in like, James Bond being upstaged by the villain in terms of like, man handsomeness and um, intelligence and stuff like that, it's like, he started kind of here, for me, I was just like, I'm in love with the villain, I'm in love with a Russian who's not a Russian, who's like, a North Korean that looks like a white red Russian, you know, kind of thing. That kind of thing. So, but like the red Russian isn't actually about the hair color, but the guy, the actor has like red hair. Gustav Graves, actor guy. So, yeah. So it was, it was an interesting. So, in going back, it's still my favorite James Bond movie. It is. And the green of the Jaguar and with the yellow missiles for the North Korean guy with the diamonds in the face. That chase scene is my favorite color combo, like as in two colors. Um, but it is, it is an interesting thing to return to and be like, eh. they lost it. <laughs> the new James Bond franchise or the new direction lost it. Um, the magic of the originals. Whereas this one didn't quite. So it, was, it kind of, in, in re returning to this after seeing a bunch of the newer James Bonds, is, this has been elevated a bit. Though I didn't dislike it in the first place. My movie notes on 007 Die Another Day, 2002 film, 16 March, 2024 viewing. I'm Tannis Leonardi. She, her, hers is Seattle. This is my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonardi.